Good Sorry. evening, everyone. Welcome to the post-match press conference. We have Nick Cushing. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand. We'll get started with Scott Churchson. Hey, Coach. Thanks, as always, for the time. Sorry, things obviously didn't work as planned. Uh, talk a little bit about that first half, and specifically the setup on that goal at 34. Thanks much. Um, I don't think we carried enough of the ball to control the game. Um, there was far too many set plays we gave away far too many set plays because we didn't carry the ball enough, which meant that they could throw the ball. We knew they were going to be a direct team. We knew they were going to run off the back line and put a lot of players up against us. And the one way to control, you know, those moments happening are to have the ball. And we, we didn't carry the ball enough. Um, and if you give Nashville, who we know are a direct team and playoff set play, if you give them that amount of set plays in the first half, they're going to, they're going to score. And, um, Disappointed, but we'll, we'll we'll get on the training pitch and we'll work at it. Juan Carlo. Hi, Coach. Uh, thank you for the time. Uh, you know, despite the loss, um, can you give me, like, your point of view as to how you saw Barraza's performance alongside uh, Kufre? Thanks. Uh, I thought Bar Luis was really good, made some big saves. Um it's difficult for him with his feet at the start of the game because they jumped on us, you know, home opener. Um, they had the crowd on their side, but I thought he made some good saves. He looked confident in the goal and I was really pleased with his performance. Um, Brian Kufre, new, only been in, you know, six days um, without so many training sessions, only played a little bit in the Portland game. Um, I was impressed by his performance. I think you can see his quality. Um, it's difficult for him because he hasn't played for three, four weeks previous to coming here, and then he hasn't been here long, new country. But I thought for a guy that's not been here so long, he put in a performance that you can really see his quality. Michael Allen? Yeah, thanks, Coach. Thanks for making the time after such a, a hard result there. Um, I wanted to ask you about the your substitutions for the, the second half. You made sub two subs out of five for the 90 minutes. Um, do you feel like the team really has, do you have the depth on the team to come in and have the players to come off the bench to make a change in a game like this? Yeah, of course. I think, you know, I was considering bringing Andre Jasson on. Um, Gabe Siegel has been really, really good in preseason and we'll be disappointed he didn't get a shout when we carry so much of the ball. Um, but I think we had so much control in the, in the second half, sorry. Um, that we just had to create the moment. And when you have Gabriel Pereira, Tales Magno, Thiago Andrade on the pitch, you know, all we need to do is carry the ball and we should create the moments. And we didn't today. We need to be better at that, that when we have so much possession, so much control, that we create chances that really hurt the opposition. Chris Campbell. Hey, Coach. Um, at the half, you made the switch to uh, to have uh, Thiago Andrade up top at the nine and, and move Tales back to the uh, left wing. What did you see or, or not see in the first half to kind of make that switch? And, and what did you see in the second half? Um, you know, any takeaways from after making that switch? Well, we changed that we changed the shape in possession. So we brought Tavon inside, which gave us complete control of the first line. And then we went to, we brought Keaton down and we brought Tales inside. And it was just because we went one side with Kufre and the other side with Gabriel Pereira, and it gave us complete control in the game. It got Tales on the ball more. It got Tales facing up and dribbling with the ball, which I think is when we're at our best. It's when we're involved in Tales Magno. Um, we just didn't create the moment. We need to be better when we carry so much of the ball and, and we have so much of the ball in their final third. I think we need to make sure that we, we hurt teams. Ronnie Tapia. Hey, coach. Um... Tough loss, I know, but just curious as to uh, what your halftime message was to the team um, after being down a goal. Um, I was just curious what your message was maybe to come out more aggressive in the second half because it did seem that way and um, just the result. Thank you. Yeah, I think for us it's about controlling the game with the ball. It's, it's our identity. If, we, if, if the game goes up and down, the opposition are better than us. Um, it's a simple game. If we control the, the game with the ball like we did in the second half, then we, we we carry enough of the ball and we pin them back and we we keep them away from our goal. We stop a direct team being able to be direct. Really disappointed with the second goal because we had the game. Um, we weren't creating clean chances, but that 1-0, the game is there for us when we carry so much of the ball. Um, but really disappointed with the, with the counter-attack. You know, ultimately, we've came here and not played so well in the first half. Played more like ourselves in the second half and lost the game to a set play and a counter-attack, which is really disappointing. Michael Andrew. 
Nick, uh, the league analysts uh, put out their list of where they feel NYCFC would 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 finish at the end of the year, and the it was very uh, varied. It started it went as high as three and went as low as ten. And I guess the, the the question is, it seems like people don't know who NYCFC are this year. After this first game, do you think that you you showed enough of who the team is, or is there still a lot more work to do? I think every team. Every team will take time to get into rhythm. It's the nature of our league. We lost our first game last year and the year before, and we went to a conference final and we won the championship in 2021. So um, we're really disappointed that we've lost the game because we felt we had it at 1-0 down away at a difficult Nashville. We had control of the game. Um, we just needed to make sure we scored the goal and we didn't. We gave away a cheap counter-attack. Um, as far as where the analysts see us, it's, it's their job. It's their job to analyse where they feel we are. It's our job to make sure we analyse this game and prepare for Chicago away. Final two, John Lupo and then Christian Hennings. Uh Nick, thank you for taking time. Um, Alfredo Morales was not in the starting lineup today and obviously didn't appear in the game. Justin Hack took his spot. Well, was there an injury? Was that a coach's decision? What was the reasoning behind that? No, he was out for a long time last year with the adductor, um, and he felt it a little bit yesterday morning, pre match day minus one in the in the pregame. We did we did a short practice and he felt the adductor small. It's nothing serious, but for a guy that was out for 10, 11 weeks, it was uh, at this stage of the season, it wasn't worth risking it. So he came, he's a real he's a real leader in the dressing room. He he had a real desire to come, but he wasn't ready to go into the game. Christian? Hi, Coach. Just looking at the second half there in terms of the character and the team getting back to more of what you want to see from them, is that is that the big positive from you going into next week? Yeah, I mean, for us, we know our identity. We have to be aggressive without the ball and we have to be we have to control the game with the ball. And the more of the ball we have, the less moments we have, have to defend the game. And then we have to carry the ball enough to create chances. And first half, we didn't get chance to carry that. And first game away from home, in the in Nashville Stadium, we didn't expect to control the game from the start, but second half we controlled the whole game and we had the we had the ball, we had the ball in the final third, we had opportunities to create chances, and we have to be so much better at one defending set play, denying counter attack, and then creating chances. Final 